Very often, when I am asked to introduce myself, and I, and I do so, I see how differently people react to, to my long position. Believe me, it really takes certain time to pronounce it. At the end, mostly people memorize one word, one unclear and far confusing word, ethics. I had a very interesting experience in dealing with ethical cases, and this is how I made my mind entertained with the issue of values, the actions streaming from these values, and I end up in this position. In fact, people act and react differently in the same situation, and to my surprise, Knowledge and skill have a limited role on it. There is a very famous story, and I'm sure all you know about it. Uh, it's about two giants of the European culture, Goethe and Beethoven. These two men were friends, and they used to walk in the evening. One day, they met the Empress and her family, and the reaction? of these two giants was very different. So Goethe positioned him in a way to execute a deep bow towards the Empress, emphasizing his deep respect towards the Empress. Instead, Beethoven pushed his head firmly on the head and quickly passed the Empress family, implying that he didn't notice. So what mattered? The thing is that Beethoven believed the ideals of liberty and equality for all men. So he felt himself to be equal to the empress to whom he was expected to execute a bow by the society. All we appear in different dilemmas in daily decision making. Uh, I am sure none of us could avoid the ethical dilemma of lying, especially choosing the harmful truth and the white lie. The lie we told thinking that we will avoid the harm feelings to our beloved ones. When I was a third year student at the university, I, I faced this ethical dilemma of lying. One of my best friends requested me to support her by lying to her family. First, I did it. But after some elapse of time, um, I reflected myself on my conduct, and I decided to apart myself from such relations. And I did it. And this was an important point in my life, in order to test my internal resistance towards the lie. And I did it. And now I know the cost of lie and relations with the lie. I will bring some examples from private sphere. Recently, we all faced the, the scandal about Volkswagen diesel deception. Probably some of us will think that this is an innovative idea, but it is not. So what did Volkswagen? It equipped its cars with a special, special equipment. They were activated during the checkup, and they reduced the emission test. So actually, they cheated the emission indicators results. In contrast, we all face the scandal of Tylenol in 1982, when seven people died after taking extra-strength Tylenol. 
Uh, investigation find out that some unknown suspects, they opened the boxes of Tylenol, put another material, poison in it. So what was the reaction of these two companies? Tylenol took the responsibility for the situation. It recalled its all products and the retail value uh, of it was more than 100 million but it protected public safety. In case of Volkswagen, they in fact did not care about environmental issues. So what sets apart Volkswagen from Tylenol producers, Johnson and jo Johnson, is the values. So the values define the actions and they offer priority for us. And when we speak about ethics, we also should bear in mind the values, because ethics is all about the values. Um, the word ethics comes from the Greek word ethikos and from the Latin word mores. If I try to translate these words, we will receive character and we will receive habit. To behave ethical, we need character. Character is a critical in ethical thinking. Character, to have the courage to turn into action our values. So the first part in ethical behavior is the character. As concerns the second part, more as habits. We need to be consistent in our actions. So one good action is not good enough. To have quality, we need to have repetition of these good actions. So I would translate ethics in, in such formulation. Ethics is the art of mastering values. To my surprise, people are required not only to develop in their skills, knowledge, but also in their values. Um, I will cite one saying about the ships, and I think men are like ships, and I don't mean sheep. So, ships are safe in a harbor, in a port, but that is not for they are created. They are created for the sailing, for meeting the storms in the sea. The, the interpretation of this saying for men is that we also have a hidden mission. We are not born as ethical models. We need to grow up in order to become an ethical models. So we have our now self, and we have our future self. And in order to have the courage to grow and build our moral capital, we need to sail. We need to have our, uh, our own hidden mission. And what is the key in, in our important growth? Uh, I'll try to, to talk about this again through a story. Uh, when I find myself lost in my future thinkings about my perfect self, I remember one story about Cherokees. And of course, I don't mean the car in your garage. Uh, one evening, uh, the Cherokee elder was talking with his grandson around the fire. And the, 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 the grandson posed the question uh, to, to his uh, uh, grandfather, asking, how should I know whether a person is of a good character or a bad character, is a kind or evil? Uh, after a few minutes of silence, the, the reply was, inside each person, there are two wolves living. One wolf is the good one, it symbolizes our faith, our love, our hope, our truth, and all the good characters. 
As concerns the second wolf, it is the evil, and it symbolizes the bad sides of uh, character. Envy, regret, pity, ego, lying, etc. And they are in ongoing battle. They fight with each, each other at any time, at every moment. And the question was, which wolf will win? And the reply followed was, the one you will feed. This story clearly shows that the character is being built by us. Simply, we need to be self-aware and cautious about the process when we build us. So I think we all will have the courage to face the wolves living inside us and have a conscious decision which wolf are we going to feed from now.